Hi everyone, I am Teacher Lin, and today we're going to have the last topic, the last page for this book, Side by Side 3rd Edition. And of course, we're going to have another book. Alright, and for the last page, we have 148. We've got mail. Dear Side by Side, I'm trying to figure out two word verbs. Is there a rule that will tell me which two word verbs are separable and which are inseparable? I hope to hear you from soon. Sincerely, looking for an answer. Dear looking for an answer, we're sorry to tell you that there isn't a rule for this. You need to learn about each verb separately. Here's a suggestion. On a piece of paper, make two lists. Write down separable two-word verbs in one list and inseparable two-word verbs in the other. Then, look up the words on your list when you can't remember them. By the way, we've, ins we've circled some words in the last sentence of your letter because here from is an inseparable two-word verb. The correct way to say this is I hope to hear from you soon. Thanks for writing and good luck with two-word verbs. Sincerely, side by side. Here is another letter. Dear side by side, I think two-word verbs are very difficult. The verb in a two-word verb has one meaning but the whole two-word verb often has a different meaning for example i turned on the light but i turned down the invitation i take out the garbage but i take after my father in my language we have different words for all these expressions why does english use the same words over and over again sincerely turned off by two-word verbs okay the answer dear turned off we're sorry to hear you're unhappy. Two-word verbs are, are very common in everyday English. We actually have special words for many of these meanings, but these words are more formal. For example, you can say, I declined the invitation and I resemble my father. Most English speakers, however, prefer to use informal language, so they use lots of two-word verbs. With time, we're sure you'll get over this problem with two-word verbs. Thanks for your question. Sincerely, side by side. All right, and for the global exchange, let's read it together. Let me tell you about my best friend. His name is Marco. People think we're brothers because we look alike. He's short and thin, and so am I. I have curly brown hair, and he does too. We also have similar backgrounds. He's originally from Peru, and I am too. He moved to this country when he was a little boy, and so did I. His parents work in factories, and so do mine. Marco and I have very different interests. He enjoys playing sports, but I don't. I play a musical instrument, but he doesn't. I've been in several plays in school, but he hasn't. How about you? Tell me about your best friend. Okay, tell a people about your best friend. How about your best friend? Alright. Okay, and I think that is all for this book i hope that you enjoyed learning this book with me teacher lin and i hope that those vocabularies grammar reading are really a big help for you to improve your english this has been teacher lin and i'll see you again goodbye